Alright folks, this is going to be our last video from this year's CES, and today it's Team Red's time to shine. AMD announced and teased a plethora of new silicon here in Vegas across pretty much all product categories, be it desktops, GPUs or new mobile chips that actually do look very, very interesting. For today though, I will mostly focus on actual products I was able to get my hands on and that will run with AMD Tech Inside. So I will skip everything on the desktop side. But even then, we have a lot to talk about. And to be quite honest, it's been a while since AMD was able to offer such a robust mobile silicon lineup. Unfortunately, this does not mean everything makes sense regarding their naming scheme. But yeah, this problem is of course shared in the tech community. I'm looking at you, Dell. But be that as it may, let's hope they have been able to convince their partners that people actually want to buy laptops with AMD inside. And let's have a look what is on offer for 2025. Let's start right away with the high-end and the new Fire Range laptop CPUs, for which I am actually genuinely excited. In our initial CES introduction video, I told you guys I'm working on a Cephrus Duo 16 right here in Vegas, and this one comes with the predecessor, the 7945HX, and it's a great CPU for games and content creation alike. And the X3D variant from 2023, which you have only been able to get in the RG SCAR 17, is still topping our CPU gaming charts. So I really hope AMD can pull this off again and that they manage to put the new chips in more laptops in 2025. For now they unveiled three CPUs, the 9955HX3D with 16 cores and 32 threads, the non-X3D variant and the 9850HX with 12 cores. During CES we already saw some models being announced with Fire Range, but the X3D combined with high-end GPU options I have so far only seen from MSI with their Radar A18. Lenovo also teased a Legion, but I think here we are talking about the non-X3D variants. And ASUS put the new silicon in last year's chassis and you will not be able to get them with a 5080 or 5090. Another highlight is of course the new Ryzen Max series, which is a unique and very interesting CPU, or rather a mobile GPU with a CPU slapped onto it. Codenamed Strix Halo, this one sits atop the regular Strix Point CPUs we already know from last year and combines 16 CPU cores with an RDNA 3.5 GPU with 40 compute units. According to early information and leaks, this will apparently mean something in the ballpark of 4060 or maybe even 4070 performance. So far we have only seen two laptops betting on the new silicon, the HP ZBook Ultra 14 G1A and the new RG Flow Z13. And those will be very interesting since you can apparently spec them with a ton of RAM, which the GPU can use as video memory. And this could be great news especially for content creators. We just have to wait and see how much power these absolute units of an APU will need in the end and what kind of battery life we will see. Alright, let's talk handhelds. AMD basically announced three new SKUs for the set 2 family of mobile APUs being specifically targeted for a new class of portable gaming consoles. And while they sound very similar, the underlying CPU architecture might differ a bit more than the name suggests. Apparently only the set 2 extreme is based on Strixpoint for now. Nevertheless, manufacturers can still choose between lower performance but potentially longer battery life with the set to go or favor higher FPS with the set to extreme. For now, we have only been able to check out the new Lenovo offerings and their Legion Go S will come either in Windows or SteamOS flavors and the Legion Go 2, which we have only seen as a concept for now, will get the set to extreme treatment. But please check out our Lenovo video for more information about these two. But yeah, that should already be it for today and AMD. Again, I hope we will see their products in more laptops this year, just to give consumers more options to choose from. But from what we have seen so far, this might exactly be the case, with MSI for example offering the same laptops with both Intel and AMD or Razer betting on Strixpoint exclusively. Please let us know what you think in the comments below and which CPU will most likely power your next notebook. This also marks the end of our CES coverage for now. Thanks a ton for sticking around guys, it's been a pleasure. Please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss our reviews as soon as we get samples in the studio and maybe like this video if you felt informed and entertained. Thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been fantastic and I see you all in the next one. Take care.